is Elite League Hockey on a Sunday night in Sheffield. And two teams who will expect to be contenders come the end of the season meet for the second time in as many nights. It was a Saturday to forget for the Belfast Giants, for the Sheffield Steelers. It's been business as usual. Another very impressive display as they ran out with a comfortable victory. The question is, though, can the Giants make the necessary adjustments? Benedict has it now. Garside, space to find Keith, instead goes high and Nickerson lets one go, rebound out in front, Steelers though, do a pretty decent job and there's a bit of pushing and shoving, everybody involved, Nickerson steps in, he and Fitzgerald get together, are they going to be dancing tonight, they continue to talk, here we go, gloves are off, at least one glove is off, Okay, two gloves off, the referee step back, and we've got a Major League heavyweight tilt. Big bombs by Nickerson, he's dropped, absolutely hammered. He landed a big one on Fitzgerald, and Fitzgerald got one back. Look at this, two big shots by Nickerson, catches him with the uppercut there, and then Fitzgerald throws a short jab. There you go, right behind the ear. Two very, very big boys. Steelers will send this one in. It's cleared away by Benedict. Oh, one by Lloyd, good play. Tries to step in, slowed down. Could be a chance out in front. What an opportunity that was. It was Benedict who was trailing on the plate. And he went in hard, and there's a bit more pushing and shoving. Hits his man on the boards. Steelers go four checking. Boxer will play it round. Good interception, Legree. Belfast do just enough. Nelson steps into his man hard on the boards. The bench don't like it. The Belfast bench are all up there. Screaming and shouting. And Sarich goes in there. There's more pushing and shoving. Box Hill's involved. Dean Smith is going to send Levi Nelson to the penalty box here. So two minutes for interference there for Russ Moyer. So that explains the, the two. Two minutes for each player there, sir. There you go. What well, a five on three power play for Belfast. And what an opportunity this is. 30 seconds. Crisscrossing play. Shields has the control on the backhand side. Vestberg faces him up. Beach again. Good feed and the goal. What a finish that was. An absolute bullet of a shot. And the Steelers find themselves behind in this one. Good crisscrossing movement of the puck. And as it comes back, the one-timer cuts through that little triangle there. Wilson let it go. And he managed to beat Tyler Plant. 4.59 the time of that first goal. Lloyd charged with taking this crucial face off. He's beaten clean. Steelers with a chance. Shooting lane all the way through. Can they finish off? They can't quite. Chance out in front again. Steelers tight angle just missing the net. Can they force it home? Where's the puck? A little cross check. Lloyd then comes back pretty hard at Nelson. A lot of words coming right now. Vestberg steps out. Good interception. Now a chance for Fretter to go back the other way. He's got a one-on-two. Wad joins him to make it a two-on-two. Two. Still, though, the chance for Fretter. Where's the puck? Steal a score. The light's on. Wad's going to claim it. The referee, though, says no, no, no. Let's see this one. We have the close-up. Where's the puck? It's somewhere underneath the pile. Oh, it goes all the way through. And does it go over the line? Well, Wad forces it over, but the whistle had already gone. You saw Dean Smith pulling the whistle away from his face before the puck across the line. And that overrides absolutely everything else. Steelers will feel hard done to because the puck's progress was never stopped. And had the whistle not blown, it would have been a good goal. But the whistle blew. Steps out. Steelers again. Duco finds Mosienko. Mosienko. Sends this one in. 
Steelers again feeding in front. Could be another chance. Backhand play. De big deflection. Steelers score. Tyler Mosienko. A scrappy, scrappy goal. But Mosienko will claim his eighth of the campaign. And the Steelers eventually tie this one up. There he is on the doorstep. And he hammers it home. The Steelers fans rise as one. Delight for Tyler Mosienko. And just a word for Jonathan Phillips working really well behind the net. When it, whenever the puck ends up behind the net, takes a bit of a squirm. He's able to get it back out in front. And Tyler Mosienko is eighth of the season. How huge has he been at the first half of this season? The power play worked five on three for Belfast. Will it work five on four? Forney to Shield. Shield shoots through a screen. Rebound pops out again. Steelers, can they clear? They can't. No, says Dean Smith. How that stayed out, I don't know. Look at this chance. Scramble out in front. Where's the puck? Somewhere in there. Second chance. Tyler Plant's doing everything. Somehow manages to squeeze that one away. Steelers will create a turnover with Duco. Can he find the man in front? Oh, what a goal, Mozienko! The man is on fire! And he's lighting up the Elite League in style. Player of the week. He now has a brace this evening. What a feed. And he enjoyed that one. Phillips and Duco with the hard work. And Mosienko under pressure. Hammers it home in the Steelers' lead. Steelers do get this one deep again. Battle for what? Should be cleared away this by Lloyd. Steelers have oh, nearly the chance up the middle, but well intercepted, and Lloyd's going to come short-handed. He's under pressure. Lloyd with a quick shot. There's a good save. Steelers fans wanted another penalty. Not coming. Mosienko to Saric. Saric lets one go. Nelson's there. He's out in front. The whistle has already blown, though. Belfast felt that there was a, a bump on the goalie. So we see this one again. That's a high, hard hit on Mosienko. Good battle going on. Eventually, Steelers can get this one away. Wow, we'll send it down. Has the puck got enough legs? It'll be intercepted on the way through. But that should be enough as Wilson will clear away again. Steelers will send this one in. Oh, it chings the crossbar. Mosienko gets absolutely mugged as the whistle goes with five seconds remaining. Keith, livid. I completely understand his point. A little bump there with the linesman. Ganzak having his say. Oh, Lloyd kicked out the face of the circle. And that will do it. A four-point weekend for the Sheffield Steelers. With back-to-back -back wins over the Belfast Giants. Another statement. 48 hours in the Sheffield Steelers season. Once again, standing on the shoulders of Tyler Mosienko. Two goals again tonight. And the Steelers have beaten the Belfast Giants by two goals to one. There he is. Nine on the season for Tyler Mosienko. And we'll catch a few words with Tyler Mosienko after he's done his eddy. Here's the eddy. Ooh! A little moonwalk. <laughs> That is fantastic. What a weekend for Tyler Mosienko. Tyler, 2 1 game and two goals for you tonight. Talk me through your evening. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Tonight was a great night for us. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, a good team like Belfast is going to respond to what happened last night, and they did. They came out real hard, and, uh, you know, we kind of weathered their storm. I mean, defensively, we're really solid right now, and, uh, and that's where our game starts right there. Paul Thompson said it builds out from the back and that was certainly never more true than, than looking at tonight's performance. Yeah, I mean, tonight, last night, whatever. I mean, the, the whole 
since, since we started this, uh, you know, the cup games and the season, the league games here, it's, uh, you know, that's what we've been doing. And uh, obviously it's, uh, you know, we got to keep working at it. And, uh, you know, you can never really be satisfied, but I think we're on the right track here. What about your start to the season? Nine goals, I think it is now in eight games. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, it's good. I mean, you know what, playing with uh, with John Boy and, uh, and Dukes there, I mean, they make it real easy. Uh, both those goals I got tonight were because of their hard work. And, I mean, I'm just lucky enough to be in the right spot and put it in. And he seems to be in that right spot more and more frequently, it, no more so than, than for their second goal. You're just right there at the, uh, the, the top of the arc. Yeah, I mean, that second goal was all John Boy's work, and they uh, they threw it out. And I mean, all they had to do was take a few steps and then, you know, find some mesh. Four points now, obviously, with this in the league this weekend. How how important is it to get the league campaign uh, off to a good start, as well as obviously the cup? Well, obviously, every point you get now is a point you don't need to get in February or whatnot. So obviously, it's huge. Just a word. Looking ahead to next week, first game against the Panthers, and uh, must be excited for that rivalry game. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they're uh, they're doing pretty good right now too. So it's going to be a big match here. Tyler, thanks for your time tonight. Right. Well done thanks. tonight. Tyler Mosienka, there, man of the match, two goals for him. As the Steelers win 2 1. Paul, a very different game to last night, but one that I'm sure you'll have uh, learnt a lot more about your team and very pleased with. One I was expecting, David. I mean, they're too good a club. You know, they're well coached, they have good players. And they would have been, you know, their pride would have been hurt yesterday with the way we played. And, and you know, it was, uh, it was an easy game for us, an easy win for us yesterday. And it was far from that today. I mean, they took it to us in the first period. I thought we were. You know, we were admiring them and we were getting out battled a bit in the first period and that's something that hasn't happened so far. But I thought we responded well in the second period and I thought we were the better team in the second period. We started doing the things that, you know, we're good at. And then the third period ebbed and flowed, ebbed and flowed and, uh, you know, two good goaltending performances. But we found a way to grind, grind one out and it's, it's not always going to be a virtuoso performance. We've spoiled our, our fans here so far this season. Today we had to dig one out against a, a team that's going to be right up there. And, but you know, in five home games we've conceded four goals and that's, that's something to build off. Yeah. And come from behind from the first time, showed a different kind of character tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you can see, we, once we scored that first goal, we got a little bit energised and the second one come and we, you know, we finished strongly in the second. But I'll give them credit. You know, they made a couple of adjustments tonight and uh, you know, I mean, there are a couple of guys short as well, but they, they played hard against us, and uh, we expect them type of games against that level of quality. That Masienko line played well. Mozzie deserved his goals, but I've heard you also, in a couple of other interviews, mention the, uh, the job that Jonathan Phillips has done. Well, sometimes you don't, you know, you look at the end result, which is the goal going in the net, and Mosey took, you know, he went to the dirty areas, and he took two great opportunities and scored two goals from that. Uh, but, you know, just the way we... We dug pucks out and, uh, you know, Jono from a face-off jumped all over Nicholson and, and turned the puck over and got it out. And then, you know, then Duco, he just goes about his business in a quiet way. He got a puck into the slot and, you know, and, and, and Mosey, you know, from, from the hard work of Jono. And, and then Mosey obviously got on to the end of that. So, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, you, you want to go out there and you want to play the level of hockey that you train to do. Sometimes teams take that away from you and I've got to give them credit today. You know, they had a good look at us and they adjusted, and, uh, but we found enough, and that's all it's about. It's about, it's about winning this business.